guys. Uh, thanks for being here tonight. We appreciate it. Two good wins, women's and uh, men. So it's good. It's a good start. Good Monday for the the frogs. Excited for Coach Campbell on his first win. I haven't got to see him yet. Congratulate him. Um, but uh, it's good. Um, saw some of it on TV. Uh, but as far as us. Um, you know, like some things, obviously a, a little bit of a slow start, but, um, you know, 108 points, 30-point win, I think 33, whatever it may be. I think they scored a bunch. I think it was 15 of the 19 last possessions. So, you know, that's, that's uh, a little disappointing. Defensively, not where we need to be. Uh, we knew that, though, going in. But liked, uh, liked what we did. Our running, our transition was tremendous. I, I know we had more than uh, uh, what we got down here uh, in transition points. Um, and I thought we advanced it really well up the court. Um, some uh, uh, questionable decisions uh, early on, especially. Uh, I think we had seven turnovers in the first, you know, eight, uh, six, seven minutes. So that was disappointing. But um, you know, we're still, you know, the play in front of some people it affects some guys, and uh, we got to uh, learn from that. But uh, we got two practices. We got an opportunity to get better at Omaha. Uh, but you know, 33 point win. I, you know, I was impressed with uh, watching them. They they won their exhibition by a bunch, um, and uh, disciplined defensively, and, and kind of some of the stuff that they're running. And you know, they shot 43 percent and uh, 42 from three. So I thought they did some good things offensively. They scored 100 points in their uh, game. So uh, I give them credit. But we've got to be better defensively. Um, uh, it's good the minutes. Um, yeah, I'm going to ramble here a little bit because we had a few things going on personnel wise. Uh, you know, we put Tyler on scholarship, so that was great for Tyler. And, uh, um, you know, with the situation, we got 10 guys. Tyler kind of becomes our 11th guy. And what we'd like to do at this point, if everything stays the same, and we've talked to, you know, uh, two really good freshmen um, about red shirting. Uh, and uh, possibly, I just don't see minutes for them right now. They keep getting better and better. Isaiah and Jace, we're really excited about them. But you're just talking about two young um, young freshmen, young freshmen with a very old, experienced team. You know, we're finally old uh, in in, uh, in this league, so um, so we're really excited about those two guys, and and uh, and we have a plan for them uh, going forward when we lose all these guys this year. But um, um, it, was, it was good to see uh, some some things here now for these other guys. Um, we you know. Start could have been better, the end could have been better, but everything else in between was pretty pretty good. And that's, I think we got up to what, close to 40 uh, at, at one point. Um, we got to finish a little better. And defensively, we got work to do, no question about it. Uh, so, um, uh, give them credit for finding our deficiencies, and uh, we know what they are. Coach, you had eight turnovers in the first eight minutes, and then mm -hmm. just five the rest of the way. What shifted there after the first? I mean, it's just they, they, the same, they made the same turnovers they make in practice. I mean, Ernest made his usual throw to two guys. Avery with the seven, you know, 90 mile an hour fastball pass. I mean, but you know, it's he, we just you got to Avery's. We're, we're, we start over every time. He's he's he had five turnovers. Obviously, um, he did some other good things. I love him, uh, but you know, he missed so much practice. Like we start over every time. He goes out for three weeks. He's out. It's all summer long. We've done that. So we did, and that's the thing we talked about him getting better at and improving on. That's what I, that was what I was here to do. But like you got to be out here every day, and and uh, we start over every time. And that's why the, the five turnovers. So um, there's five of our thirteen right there. Um, you know, I, I, one thing he's doing is like, I'm telling him to shoot open shots, and he's you know he did that better. Uh, but just a, a bit of over penetration, uh, um, and. Um, you know, Ernest is something we've talked about. I thought Jameer's gotten better in that area, but you know, again, we had 108 points and we're talking about turnovers. 12's our number, you know, 12's our number. Um, so uh, we have a lot of possessions, um, but probably uh, it's certainly too many. Uh, and and it's, you're gonna have turnovers, we say we give you, you know, we give you 10, um, but the ones we have are just unforced, uh, lack of uh, um, fundamentals. Mike had a <clears throat> had a career high with 21 points. How encouraging was that for uh, for him? That's good. He's practiced real well. I mean, we, we try to start the best five defenders. I'm trying to explain to our guys we need to get better defensively, so we're going to start the best five defenders. And it was hard to find five, to be honest with you. But we put him in there, and um, but that shows. I mean, it shows. We're, I, I don't think they realize how deficient we are defensively. And uh, um, we started our best five, and they were scoring from the beginning. So. Um, uh, but my 
Franco is, is what we consider one of our best defenders. And, um, and I thought he was pretty good today. But, you know, I think he's, he's just played better and better. He missed, you know, he's been out a lot too, as, you know, he has been as, as uh, a lot here. Um, but he's really practiced well the last week or two uh, that he's been back. It's probably been about three weeks, I guess, now. And uh, his decision making is better. Um, his, uh, um, he's playing more space. So we had some, you know, some uh, plays that we, we, we've got to correct. But, you know, 108 points, there's, there's uh, a lot of positives there, too, as well. Last year, uh, rebounding was a point of emphasis for mm -hmm. you. Tonight, 41 rebounds. What did you yeah. think? I don't yeah, know. I mean, we're, we're charting everything they do rebounding-wise, that they're doing their jobs. You know, we talked about the guys that get back and the guys that go get. And uh, we chart everyone in practice. So we started doing that the last um, – we do it during practice, so we're constantly telling them and reinforcing what they what they've done. So I think we're I think we're heading in the right direction on that. And uh, I mean, if we get not a good rebound team with our size, and we're not going to be successful. You can't play big and not be great rebounding and defensively. Um, and we're not there yet, but I think we will get there. Twenty eight assists on uh, uh, forty three mid shots. Tonight. Is that yeah. what you like that too? Yeah, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a good number. You you want to. Um, it's a good number. I mean, I uh, we probably could have had a few more assists and less turnovers would have been uh, uh, how I would have looked at it, given the scheme and you know their size and we, we got some put back uh, put backs and you know we did shoot a, 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 a um, high percentage uh, from from the field, uh, sixty one percent. So um, you know we we, we uh, the decision making was good. There, there was just a few stretches, especially early. Uh, was mentioned, but um, you know, 28 assists is. I thought there could have been more, um, but I just thought that for the, the three games. You know, I just, it, these games when you get in a situation where you go up by 30, what was our biggest uh, uh, um, margin? I guess was uh, 39. You said 40, 39. Um, you got handled there. You know, and you, and you know, we got up seven, 39 with seven minutes left, and we ended up winning by. Um, 33. So that's where some of our uh, defensive breakdowns, lapses came, and our percentage went down a little bit there. So you know we, we got we got to play every minute the right way. Is that is factored in, and uh, we know that's important. And you guys were plus 38 when Jacoby was on the floor. What type of game do you think he had tonight? He, he, you know he, he um, uh, he's playing really well. I mean I, I don't know if he, at times I think he might be our uh, best all around player because he's defending better. Um, but then I'll have some breakdowns defensively, and I go to uh, uh, old Jacoby. But he didn't, you know, he, last game he didn't play great just because some of the shots didn't fall, didn't finish some things. But I thought he played really well today. He's playing with himself, and uh, uh, but he's playing better defensively. I mean, that's uh, simply put. I mean, he was he was. Uh, um, we'll we'll chart him out, but you know, last year he was you know one of our uh, worst defenders, and uh, this year I don't think he's. I thought he was pretty good today. He did some good things today defensively. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's what we said. It's, uh, we talked, he's got to be a great position defender, great position defender, and he wasn't. Uh, but I think he's really uh, focused. He watches his film with Coach McNeely every, every day um, on, on uh, individually. You know, we watch film all the time, but he watches individually, and it's all defense, you know. Um, so better shape, um, smarter, more committed to it, I think. Um, but uh, we got to keep challenging him and keep pushing him to it at the same time. Jameer Nelson, 14 points, six uh, assists yeah. tonight. What would you like out of your point? I liked his distributor. I thought he was really looking for other guys as the priority, and that's what you want to have in your first game of the year in a, in a game where um, it's a home game. And So I thought that was really good. Defensively, I thought he was a little bit better. And, um, you know, we, we just need constant ball pressure out of him because he has the ability to do so. Did you like the ball movement tonight? Oh uh, yeah, I thought I thought it was good. I really in transition. I thought it was really good. Half court could have been a little better, um, and so. Uh, but I thought I thought uh, full court in, in transition, uh, off the steals, off the rebounds, uh, we were we were good in that area. Um, half court could have been a little better. Mustafa, Cork, and Uday all played around the same amount yeah. of minutes. Is that still an open competition? What do you see out of it? Yeah, I, I don't know if it's competition. It's just you know we're going to have the best guys out there. We're looking for the best defender out of it. And, and Times we think Ernest is the best, but to be honest, he was not um, as good as I had hoped he'd be tonight, just because of what they were running, and he did not, you know, uh, it was.
wasn't as good as I wanted it to be and, and it can be. So, you know, I got to do a better job of pushing what we told them, what they're going to run, how they're going to do it, where we need you to be, and he just didn't quite get to where we needed to be all the time. So it's it's just it's just a, um, a few feet, uh, but it's a difference, and uh, that's where we've got to improve. So I got to do a better job. Tomorrow we'll walk through more stuff, uh, shoot shots, and then it's got but it's got to be a day of improvement. But all three, I thought Isam did. Uh, I, you know, we just want to be fresh out there. We want to be active. All three do something a little bit better than the other, and um, you know, we just want to uh, we want to get uh, uh, we want to get uh, production. You know, we want double digit points and double digit rebounds out of that spot and great defense. You know, so that's that's our goal. Any last question? After the women's game uh, this afternoon. Yeah, no, I, I uh, uh, I've known him for a long time. Uh, I think we recruited him uh, way back in the day when I was at Northern Arizona, and uh, um, and um, uh, then he went to a junior college, uh, um, and that's where we uh, looked at him too. He played on Friends of Hoop, so that was Coach, Coach Carl's team. He was a good friend of ours and and uh, a Pittsburgh guy. So yeah, it goes way back till then. But then he ended up at Hawaii, which is you know. Close uh, school that's uh, near and dear to my heart, um, and uh, so we have all those ties from that. And then uh, he coached with a group of guys that are my kind of my in my uh, in my oh, what do we call it age group? I guess or something. But we all started out together, so he started out there before he went over to the women's side. So I mean, um, knew he was always a basketball guy, and, and I just didn't know he was going to marry a great women's player and, and uh, how it all turned out. I think he's going to do great. I think uh, um, you know I loved uh, 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 Reagan too as well. And um, uh, but uh, you know we'll, we'll be there to support him uh, all the way through uh, as, as always. So uh, I saw some of it on TV. Didn't get to watch uh, much of it obviously, but I saw some of it um, uh, uh, in, in between uh, in between pregame meals. So uh, I wish uh, I wish him well, and it's a good start for both of us. Thanks, Ed. All right. Thank you all.